So guys, I recorded this video together with another video where I forgot to comb my hair before going to the studio. Today's video tracks all the stages of an experiment that I started on June 1st, 2019 and ended on July 1st, 2019. Now, why did I want it to last a month? Actually, these two dates are a bit off. They're not exact. But anyway, I'm not sure if you know about Fiverr. It's a marketplace for services. So it's not like eBay where you sell your stuff. But on Fiverr, you sell your work in summary, your skills somewhat as suggested by the name Fiverr, where you can buy and sell starting at $5. My experiment this month was to create a fan base from scratch as if I were an unknown person in the world and trying to sell my designs on Fiverr also. And above all, to understand how hard it is to start doing it. And if someone who starts completely from zero can embark on this path or not. And in the video, I'll tell you how it went. Let's start from the beginning. That's why I said it didn't start exactly on June 1st, but on May 20th, I registered on Fiverr, created my account with the name Abyssfrog. I created my profile in the first gig, gig, which I don't know how to translate. I think it's an ad, I don't know. And the service I decided to offer to the public is, I will make cartoon portrait of you. Also, because I saw that anyway on the site, especially in the artistic field, you have to be very specific which is to do this specific thing for you, in my case, the cartoon caricature, and if you then offer people effectively what they want, which is themselves in a cartoon. So that was the thing that could work the most. And I divided this thing into packages. There is the $5 package, which is only black and white. Then there is the $10 package, which is in color. The $15 package is in color, and you can do whatever you want with it, even in the commercial field. These are disgusting figures because then they are not $5, then you convert it to euros, then with the 20% commission that the site takes, it's horrible, okay? It's unacceptable, but I wanted to start from the bottom. And so to start from the bottom, if you're nobody and you have to make yourself known, you make crappy prices, you see? In the end, I realized that my ad would never be seen by anyone because there are simply hundreds of ads on that site. Like, I'll make you a cartoon portrait. So it was so hard to be among the few that are viewed, among those even fewer that are bought. It was quite difficult. Well then, among all those hundreds, there were many that were not at all convincing. I mean, you see them right from the preview and you say, no, I wouldn't pay for this thing. But, okay, how to solve this problem? Putting myself in a buyer's shoes, I realized that I wouldn't buy anything that doesn't already have positive reviews. I mean, I don't want to take the risk that maybe the person will do something wrong or that he doesn't answer me in short. So I decided to make an investment in this profile myself. I gave $5 to a friend of mine. And I said, buy the caricature on the site and then leave me the positive review. But is my first order coming in? <laughs> it could be. This is officially my first order that I fulfilled before it even arrived. Now I'm waiting for Andrea to send me the formal request. When I come back, I expect to find an order. There are a thousand desks in this house, but he still chooses to sit there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, a new order with instructions from Tokodru. But who is Tokodru? But look, there's the countdown. <laughs> so oh my God. So this is your face. Okay, we got it. Just missing the beard, but it's okay. Go Tokodrio. don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. So let's see, now I'll answer you. Here it is, Andrea.jpg. Service is described. Obviously. Yes. Uh, would you buy it again? Now write the review. But it should be in English. Okay. What? These first earnings were an investment. I got my positive review. It was all going to be downhill from here, right? No. No, from here. The adventure begins in the following days. Strangely enough, something happened on May 22. A guy messaged me because he wanted information or another guy on May 30th who was asking for info, but nothing really came of it in the end. So for the first 10 days, the profile was inactive. I didn't really pay it much attention because I wanted to get the expenses started because I wanted the experiment to start right on the 1st of June, even though I had prepared beforehand. So I had parked it there without giving it any attention on the 1st of June, completely randomly without me doing anything to make it happen. I get an order. Okay, today's the day of the turning point. This happened. A guy finally bought one of my jigs and he asked me to draw it as if it were a 10 year old boy. But then when I saw the picture, it was this. Now the chances that this guy is really him are very low. After a little bit of research using Google images and so on, I found out that the person in question is called Javier Tulio Diaz and he's a sort of politician slash political commentator who has a show in Mexico. I think it's a meme, but I don't know. Anyway, when you get the order, the time goes by. So you can't really ask too many questions. And you have to give them what they want, even if it's a strange thing. So I finished my errand, I handed it to him. And then I asked him if by chance I would end up in a YouTube video. 
but he didn't answer me. So, oh well, and we'll never know. First five dollars, first day of experiment. Actually, 10 days have passed, but let's pretend it's the first day, not bad. That same day, I decided to commit to making myself known. However, I couldn't base my fledgling business solely on the hope that the site would randomly promote me, which I don't think works, by the way. So I decided to do what all artists do when they want to get noticed. That is, they make portraits for people more famous than them. <laughs> I did it too at the beginning of my YouTube channel. Dark years. Anyway, I decided to aim very high by directly targeting the most well-known person on YouTube, PewDiePie, rightfully. The chances that this thing would bring me anything were very low, but I wanted to try anyway. Taking advantage of my friend Andre's account, I posted the image of PewDiePie and Marzia on his subreddit, and I hoped that someone would notice it. Well, it did really well. 12,000 likes, at least 100 comments from people congratulating me, asking me where they could follow me. Where can you follow me, my dear, if not on www.fiverr.com slash abyssfrog? I spammed myself brutally. A guy asked me for permission to put my image as the cover of his Discord based on PewDiePie. In short, a great success, a bomb, and the same day I decided to seize the opportunity, I put up two more gigs. Things subordinate to the first, like I clean up your skin in your photos on Photoshop, or I enlarge the image, you know, this sort of thing, to round things off, in short, extras, and then nothing. Zero, nada, nothing. A few impressions, a few visits to the listing, but overall 12 days of emptiness, in which, yes, the listing has grown a bit, it's been seen a bit, but no one bought anything. The guy from Discord wrote to me saying, oh, I've done a lot of advertising for you with Discord. Could you give me a discount? I said, yes, of course, I'll give you a discount. I'll give you the package from 10 to 5, nothing, not even that. So I don't know what this guy expected, like I would do it from 5 to 2 or from 5 to 0. I don't know, dude, from Discord, I'm already charging a pittance. Stop. Stop. We're serious people, aren't we? Let's go to June 13th, a wonder of wonders. I received three orders in one day, first of all. A guy who wanted me to enlarge photos that were impossible to enlarge. You could put the artificial intelligence of the universe on it, but I know in fact if I accept something like this, I can't do anything. So. I started brushing on Photoshop to try to enlarge an image, create details that I could not have possibly created in any way. Well, or for $5, that is, he couldn't expect more. Oh well, he asked me for two, so $10, not bad. And then another guy that I'd made a personalized offer to ask me for an image for his friend's graduation. So five subjects in a room, $20 was really low, but I wanted to bring this home because it was my first real commission done well. In short, I needed this. And so in the end, something like this came out. He was super happy and I was so glad that he was so happy. I asked for a review and he left me a positive review too. Everyone lived happily ever after. By the middle of the month, I'd made $40. 30 of them in one day, inexplicably. So let's say that things seem to have started taking a slightly different turn. I must say the rest of the month was much more active and much more profitable. Until the 21st, everything went on without much news. And then suddenly I got a $20 order, I sent over the rough draft, then I sent over the final version, the guy was thrilled. So I took advantage with the classic phrase, you know, you would help me a lot with the review and everything. And then she left me another review, another five stars, perfect. Another four days later, I get another order, this time for $15 from a very young girl. I dare say a little girl who asked me for a picture of her and a friend of hers, so I delivered it. And she was so happy that the same day she placed another order on me, this time for $20 because she wanted it delivered quickly. I think it was a joke for a friend of her because she sent me a screenshot of one of his stories. And where there is him who had taken a selfie saying, oh my God, I'm going to kiss Crawford. Offered. I don't know, very excited, 12 years old, don't ask questions, since I still don't understand why it should occur to you to make a story that you're about to kiss yours. Well, I don't know, 12 years old. In short, work is work, I completed this thing too, I pocketed these $35, but since I didn't like the result I had obtained so much, that is, she liked it very much, I was not so satisfied, so the review in doubt, I did not ask her. Finally, June 29th, just before the end of the challenge, one last person writes to me asking me for an avatar because he wants to open his YouTube channel. Then I took the opportunity and told him, sorry about that, but if you want to start a YouTube channel, you need more than one avatar. In my opinion, you should have at least three different poses and five different facial expressions. He seemed really happy with my idea, so I made him a custom offer. I charged him $40 for everything. Let's see. So I sent him the offer. The only thing is that since he messaged me right as I was going to Pride, I forgot to send it to him. So I sent it on July 1st, so technically the challenge was over, but he had contacted me before and if I had sent it to him earlier, I would have finished earlier. So I am claiming that this should count as part of the challenge. 
So I turned in the last portrait and I set aside my officially last $40. Challenge completed. Ah. It's time to report the results of my experiment. I completed nine orders and earned exactly 100 euros, which would be $108 over the course of a month. If you'll allow me to say it was a month, if you won't. Oh, well, anyway, it was practically a month. The purchases were made from the United States, Mexico, Canada, Australia, and Romania. And then there's also Italy in the graph because of the first order my friend made. I received four positive reviews, and despite the base price of everything I offered being $5, in the end, I found myself completing most of the jobs for a higher price, which was obviously a good thing. I don't know if I was just lucky or if it's the norm, but all the people who placed orders with me were always very enthusiastic, very accommodating. They always gave me a lot of compliments. They asked me very few changes, and in fact, the way I set up my work, it did not cost me anything to make changes because I delivered them the sketch first, then the line art, then the color. In short, I showed them step by step so that they could feel free to ask me for changes. The final result was exactly what they expected and it did not cost me anything to make them while working. It would have cost me more to make them once I reached the end. So I spent less time and they were more satisfied with their result. Having said that, let's draw some conclusions. However, the question you could ask me is, okay, but now that you have done this, would you continue to do it? So one of the major criticisms made to Fiverr and sites like it is that it contributes to the idea that some jobs are worth nothing or a pittance simply because there are people ready to sell this service at very low prices. The complaint is that it conveys the idea that $5 might be a fair price for a service that's actually worth much more. And I get this criticism. And I partly agree with it completely. In truth, there are many things to consider. Like that on sites like these, people from around the world can sell. So I'm from Italy. If I make $5 an hour in Italy, I'm not making much. But there are countries where earning $5 in an hour means you're making a lot. So there's this imbalance where you have a country buying that pays little and a country selling that earns a lot. So it creates a bit of unfair competition and I get that. But I have to say that looking around the site, this $5 thing is a bit of a trick because ultimately if you go and check out the various listings, See, you hardly ever find things with just $5. Very often you find yourself paying more, rightfully so. For some things you can even pay up to 100 euros. That is directly within Fiverr. And also, I can't help but think that had I opened the same account at 16, I would have thrown myself headlong into it, dedicating my body and soul to this profile because setting aside 100 euros a month at 16 can come in handy. You are not a professional, so you don't offer a professional service and therefore you don't price as a professional service, but you could take advantage of it to train with real clients, thus handling real challenges and in the meantime, stash away some money to invest in equipment. However, the experiment is not over yet, my dears, no, because instead of closing my profile in July as I was supposed to, I decided to increase the offer. Therefore, diversify it by adding more gigs, other things I can do, and raise all the prices to see what happens. Let's see if my career on Fever is destined to take off or fall apart. In the meantime, leave me a comment below letting me know what you think of sites like this, like Fiverr, and what techniques might be necessary to grow and survive in this environment. If you're interested in this experiment, it's not to say that I might not decide to do others. So if you have other things to suggest, other paths, dirty ones that you'd like me to take, let me know with a comment below. I'll be happy to oblige. I thank you for watching the video up to this point and I send you a greeting, a hug and an affectionate pat. Bye.